Hello folks, we have already known when Samsung's next Unpacked event will take place, but the company is now making it properly official. Its next flagship phone lineup will be announced on February 1st in San Francisco, USA. This will be the first in-person Samsung Unpacked event since the COVID pandemic started, and yes, you can be sure we will have in-depth coverage of everything that gets announced at the event. As we've seen through leaks and slip-ups by Samsung itself, there will be a major focus on the camera experience. The Galaxy S S23 Ultra naturally will get the biggest upgrades. It will be Samsung's first flagship phone with a 200 megapixel camera. Following three years of Samsung using 108 megapixel cameras on its ultra branded flagship phones, and will bring some neat new camera features. Samsung will also unveil new Galaxy Book 3 series of laptops at the event. In addition to the usual hardware upgrades, the Galaxy Book 3 lineup will include Samsung's first ultra branded notebook. There will also be a Galaxy Book 3 Pro and a Galaxy Book 3 Pro 3. And we can expect specs like AMOLED displays, the latest Intel processors, and more. We've seen all three Galaxy S23 models in leaked pics over the last couple of months and already know what they will look like. And the folks over at WinFuture have now leaked what they say are official marketing pics from Samsung for the base Galaxy S23. There's absolutely no doubt in our mind these are totally, completely, 100% legit considering Quan's background and track record. Not to mention the fact that the pic pictures look exactly as expected. Like it or not, hardcore Samsung fans are looking at another design refinement rather than a radical overhaul, which is wholly unsurprising to hear and see in today's mobile industry. Of course, the non-plus and non-ultra Galaxy S23 is not a carbon copy of last year's regular-sized Galaxy S22, and at least some of the subtle but easily noticeable revisions are likely to make a crucial difference for folks already looking to switch their existing phone for a new one. First and foremost, the camera setup. Yes, this still includes three equally sized sensors arranged vertically in the top left corner of the handset rear panel, and according to a couple of different rumors, the megapixel counts may also go unchanged. But the three rear facing shooters are no longer held together by a large chunk of metal, which should help them attract way less attention than before. Whether or not you see that as a good thing, it's hard to deny the elegance of the phone's profile with so little of the cameras protruding from the back. The single front facing Snapper is of course once again placed in a small hole drilled through the middle of an undoubtedly super high quality AMOLED screen tipped to measure around 6.1 inches in diagonal. This is apparently a completely flat display with razor thin bezels all around it, although the metal frame is slightly curved to help with grip and maneuverability. The base Galaxy S23 is expected to be available worldwide in four colors – botanic green, cotton flower, misty lilac and phantom black. There will also be a couple of exclusive colors such as light green, light blue and light red for those who order it from Samsung's website, although it's unclear which options Samsung will provide in various markets and whether all three models will come in exclusive colors. Speaking of S23 Ultra, IC Universe touches on camera and sound quality and for one, it suggests that the upcoming Galaxy S23 Ultra has excellent image stabilization and autofocus. Samsung has supposedly improved the Galaxy S23 S23 Ultra's audio and sound recording capabilities. The report claims that the top-tier flagship has better speakers with improved audio, especially in lower frequencies. It should provide a better out-of-the-box multimedia experience, even without connecting to earbuds or external Bluetooth speakers. Finally, the rumor indicates that the Galaxy S23 Ultra features an excellent microphone array. This upgrade should come in handy for people who use apps such as Samsung Voice Recorder and the Interview Recording feature. Likewise, it should provide a better audio experience for videos recorded with the onboard cameras. All things considered, the Galaxy S23 Ultra should be a better device for multimedia consumption and for content creators who want improved video audio recording capabilities. Whether or not the base Galaxy S23 and or the Galaxy S23 Plus will also feature these audio hardware upgrades remains to be seen. We are only a couple of weeks away from the official unveiling at Unpacked, so we'll find out soon enough. Guys, thanks for watching this video, please share it with your friends. See you in the next one, good luck to all.